We're here at Trondheim Audio Devices, standing to a wonderful person called John from Finland, if I'm correct. No, Norway. Oh my God. It's almost. Oh, but is there a difference between Finland and, and Sweden or Norway? <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. Okay. Okay. So here we have a bass pedal called, called the Scar Bass One. Yes, correct. Okay. I have this pedal at home. I already filmed the video. I think by the time this video comes out, it's not released yet, or maybe it will. But tell me something about the pedal. What's cool about this bass pedal? I know what it is, but the people looking don't know it yet. What's cool about it is that you can create every useful tone with it, like the normal tones you use, everything from reggae to metal. Because the chain that goes into the studio processing is pretty similar across the genres, you know? Yeah. So I gave the user the opportunity to use, to change the settings that kind of switches between the genres, you know? You can activate the overdrive if you'd like, which is a multiband overdrive. Yeah. Or you can keep it clean and still keep the FET compression, which is a super hard compressor. Yeah. And the unique mid filter, which is not a bell filter, but a high pass filter for a high pass signal. Yeah. Quite complex, but the user only have to worry about mids more or less, you know? And also the balance is active uh, when we're on the blue channel. Once you engage the red channel, you engage these two, which is the drive and the tone, which essentially is overdrive for the high pass, for the high frequencies of the signal. Cool. And the mix, somebody gets confused because it's kind of a new concept, yeah. but it's not a dry wet, it's a tonal balance between low end and high end. Ah, okay. Yeah. So basically when you put it all the way to the left, Own base. it's just low, low end, end, low end, low yeah. end and then you basically blend in the high end. Correct. Ah, okay. Uh, well, if you take the camera here, I can tell you how it looks like, like this. If, so th if this would be like an EQ, you mean? Yeah. The frequency response yes. curve? So you have to ah, do okay. this, yeah. There you go. There you go. Cool. So it can do clean stuff? Yes. Almost like reggae? Yes. Rock stuff? Yes. Metal stuff? Yes. Extreme metal stuff? Uh, yes. <laughs> extreme, extreme, extreme metal stuff? Yeah, I think so. I tried it. Yeah, you tried it. it. That, that sounded really cool. It's like around F sharp, I think, low tuned, and uh, it does the job well. It does. Yeah, I mean, it, it handles, the dynamics handles every tuning. Right. The compressor is one of, I mean, people buy it for the compressor alone today. Really? Yeah, and full disclosure, we are going to drop. You heard it here first? Or? Actually, actually, yeah. Sure. I feel blessed. You are blessed, man. John, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Cool.